Member for Lindsay. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is also to the Treasurer. Will the Treasurer update the House on the latest September quarter national accounts? How is Australia transitioning from the mining boom to a more diversified economy? The Treasurer. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the member for Lindsay for her question. Coming from Western Sydney, she has, comes from a place which strongly believes in growth and jobs, Mr. Speaker. And Western Sydney has been one of the great success stories of the Australian economy. We all do, Mr. Members Speaker. Those left. opposite are they're a bit gloomy about on my these left, things, Mr. The Speaker. Member for but not in Western Sydney. In Western Sydney, they're full of optimism, Mr. Speaker. They're full of optimism about the great representation they get from the member for Lindsay. Um, in Western Sydney, they're a little worried that the member for Fowler might be being overrun by the member for McMahon in Western Sydney. Hands up those who like the member for Members Fowler. on my right. He's a great man. Members, members on my right. Fowler, the Treasurer will Thank bring you. himself back to the substance of the but question. On the serious issue, Mr. Speaker, on the serious issue, our economy is making the positive positive transition from the investment phase of the mining boom, Mr Speaker. We are making the positive transition Member for and, and we are heading in the right direction, Mr Speaker, as today's national accounts figures show. Growth up, as the Prime Minister said, 0.9 per cent this quarter, up 2.5 per cent uh, year, year, through the year growth, Mr Speaker. Now, that's twice what we saw in Canada with their figures just released last night. Uh, a similar type of economy, a resources-based, commodities-based economy, up twice the growth in Canada, higher than the growth across the G7, higher than the average growth in the OECD. Consumption is up, Mr Speaker. Demand is up. Export growth up 4.6 per cent, 6.5 per cent through the year, Mr Speaker. What this, shows, what this shows is the emerging growth in demand for what Australia is doing, Mr Speaker. Now, of course, as you transition, as the Australian people know we are transitioning, Mr Speaker, from the high investment levels in the mining sector, and then you will see a decline in business investment, as we have seen in these figures, Mr Speaker, and we will call that as we see it. We will call it as it is. That is true. And we will see a growth in the non-mining sector investment as these increased demand figures flow through the economy. Now, Australians know they are out there every day. They are out there working and they're saving and they're investing through the transition in this economy. And the Australian government is backing them. We're working in with them, Mr. Speaker, because we are supporting growth-orientated policies, Mr. Speaker. You need a growth-friendly tax system. You need a growth-friendly competition policy. You need a growth-friendly innovation policy. You need a growth-friendly environment policy, Mr. Speaker. You need a growth-friendly target. Not those that are offered by those opposite, a 45 per cent reduction in emissions, which is, which is not growth friendly, Mr. Speaker. It's not growth friendly. It's not jobs friendly. But on this side of the House, we are focused on growth and jobs. That's what our economic policy is about. The policies of those opposite are, of, on economics is all about chasing green votes, Mr. Speaker. On this side of the House, our economic policies are focused on growth and jobs in the economy. And our economy is in transitioning. We will continue to do that, Mr. Speaker, and we will back Australians through that transition. And these figures today show that that transition is taking place in a positive way and is being supported by good, strong growth-oriented policies. Yeah. Member for Green.